I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master. Go to QuantrixAuthority.com to learn more. Hey, welcome back to another netcast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority. Sincerely appreciate you joining me today for episode number 255. Calculate days and hours and minutes between two dates. I am completely amped for the month of September. And the reason why is because just around the corner is the Dimensions Conference in Portland, Maine, where we go and we talk about Quantrix for three days that seem to go by too quick. But uh, really excited about it, and I hope you are too. And I'm so excited about it that, of course, I wanted to create a countdown timer in Quantrix so that, you know, whenever I have a desire, I can go ahead and just, you know, refresh this model and see how many hours and minutes I have until the Quantrix seminar here in a couple weeks or here in a week or so. So in this episode, I want to show you how to calculate days and hours and minutes between two dates in order to get us ready uh, for the Quantrix seminar. So I have here a model. Call this item now. And now is going to equal uh, the now function. And I'm going to format this as uh, a date and time here. So when I do that, you can see that it's uh, 8.30 at uh, 7.03 a.m. And the Quantrix conference is going to, I'm just going to call this start. And the Quantrix conference, I believe, is going to start on 9-11-2018 at, let's say it starts at 9 a.m. Man, I wish it started at like 6 a.m. It'd be way better. It'd be better because that would mean there would be more time to talk Quantrix. Anyway, I want to calculate the days uh, between them, and then I want to do the hours and minutes. All right, so the days between uh, this day, today, and the start. So I'm going to put in, use a date diff function. I'm going to say date diff. Uh, what's my date, my start date, and what's my end date, it's uh, it's now in the start of the seminar, and my interval is going to be D, so I'm going to do days here, and then I'm going to format this guy, and I'm going to see that I am 12 days away, oh man, can hardly wait, how many hours and minutes do I have between now and then, so let's go here, and we would say equals uh, text of when the conference starts versus now, and I'm just going to do a format here, and I'm going to do hours, minutes, and seconds, like so. If I can get this going, this shouldn't be a comma here. This should be a, a subtract. And when I subtract them, I can say that uh, the Quantrix seminar actually is 12 days, 1 hour, 56 minutes. And as I hit F9 and refresh this throughout the day as I come in, and I'm excited to really see the countdown in the minutes, I can see that... It is 12 hours, 1 hour, 54 minutes. If I hit F9, it's actually recalculating my now function, updating it. And now I am 12 days, 1 hour, 53 minutes, and 47 seconds away till the Quantrix seminar. So I hope you'll create a countdown timer for yourself. Actually, if you would like a copy of this countdown timer and you're attending the Quant Quantrix conference so that you can get amped for it, Go ahead and send me an email at quantrixauthority at gmail.com. I will send you this model so that you can also join in in the countdown. If you're going to miss out on the conference, I hope that this uh, way to calculate the difference between dates as well as the difference between times you'll find useful. And I hope to see you at a future Quantrix seminar. And of course, always, if you have any questions about Quantrix, I hope that you'll feel free because it is free. To reach out to me at quantrixauthority at gmail.com and answer me or ask me the questions and I'll try to answer you because ultimately I want to make you a Quantrix master and I hope you'll join me again for another episode of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez. Today's podcast is brought to you by quantrixauthority.com. I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master.